uh, program or what you will be following in the uh, upcoming days. So this is what we are expecting. So, Madam, yeah, we are ready. So, uh, we have a volunteer from Parthiban, sir. So, Parthiban, sir, you can. Center for Yoga under Dean CT, Sir Maestri. Actually, I was trained uh, in Himalayas of my studies, uh, early studies. Later, as education side, I was diverted to MSc Yoga, MPhil Yoga, and PhD Yoga. For the past two days, uh, three days, it's the third day, I come to understand uh, now just uh, as shown uh, up to UHP seven uh, courses, packages, including MDP. The portions, materials are Shaddarsan, Vachendranath, History of Yoga, Buddha, Bodhi, Mahavir, Goals, Values, Self-Confidence, Anger, Suicidal and Assertiveness, Motivation. We have included in our syllabus for the students earlier itself. For the three years back, as per our Dean City's advice, we have revised the syllabus, including this material. I don't know whether uh, he has guided such a way in the very good manner. Including for students' purpose, we have uh, developed memory and concentration, how to develop the OG practices. The existing syllabus, which has time management, stress, personality development, self-improvement and self-development, ethics, behavior, health systems with uh, systems-wise uh, disorders and uh, therapy terms, and with how to develop the UG practices. And healthy lifestyle for the students in a psychological and physiological manner. Overall, we are approaching with holistic lifestyle. Now I come to understand, we are lacking relationship, right understanding, and physical facility, and trust. These are the updated knowledge given by UHP. We plan to include in a syllabus for the students. So that's the way I thank to the UHP team, uh, give a good guidance to us to develop the syllabus of uh, SRM students. Manasada and Latukon Karno no Ridusulwanga. Um, in Bhagavad Gita, Sloka 36 of uh, Chapter 6 is uh, Aham Yatatmana Yoga Dushra Paiti Memadi was Yatmana Yuzata Sukyo Vapta Mumpadaya. The person who has uh, a flexibility, good in mind, can conquer the world. Sar Nikinaria, the last on Buddha on the Patina Karasila, Anaitian Turande. In the Walakam Puran in the Karna, when the Auroda Yadi Yetuka Kurada Pago, Anitim Tura, Ade, Eduka Karnam, Unoda Varki, Valachi Karnam Sulu So, such a way self realization can be achieved through living all the things as it is. Or balanced state of mind when you take a decision as higher authority, balanced state of mind is essential. Kalila Linus Martin Sar Sonar, some partiality Irukum or Retalabin Sonar. Irkidor, Retal Irkid, Irnalon, Ir Capron, how to develop the de come to decision without partiality. That's the most important thing I understood from this uh, UH course, as well as uh, very useful to develop uh, relationship, right understanding, and physical facility, trust uh, with the syllabus we are going to include uh, in, us, in our next. Uh, Revised syllabus. So I thank the team, especially uh, <coughs> organizers as well as a, a person from Beltak Sir, I mean uh, Gauri Shankar Sir, and, uh, nicely guided to us in a very good manner for the past three days. Supraja ma'am, I will hard work. If you don't know the team, Supraja ma'am, I will tell you. If you don't know the whole program, if you don't know the whole program, so I thank the whole team for a wonderful program presented for uh, as a UHP to us to develop as a MDP program. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. Question session. So you can share your brief introduction, then your personal achievement or takeaways through the workshop. So three key proposals that you could explore, grasp, verify, experiment regarding the proposal that were put forward right from human being to the entire existence. And you can also share your thoughts before and your thoughts now, how a shift has taken place.
isn't it? Then the potential and possibility you see in this content and process, and your specific commitment or plans regarding UHV, that could be at the level of policy, implementation, in the institution, at the university level, regional level, national level, global level. So your detailed ideas or suggestions are welcome through the PDF form. <coughs> your thanks are already accepted and greatly appreciated. Please try to use the time for your personal achievement and take away. So, yeah. Yes. Pardon? I can, can I call the next? Uh, yeah, one minute. So what we can do, like uh, it is going to be 4.30 now, and usually we have been conducting the session till 5.30. So uh, you can come by your own preference here. Are there some of us here who can stay after 5.30? So we can call their names later. So generally what we do <laughs> on the last day, so by 5.30, those who have to leave early may come. And then those who can stay back for some time, they can come later on. So that way, we are here. You know. So if you can be here, we can continue with the sharing, even after 5.30, 6.30, that is possible. So. And you can take two to three minutes talking about these three key points. Your key take your brief introduction, your key takeaways, and the potential and possibility you see. Isn't it? And a specific commitment. You can be as specific as you can. Yeah. So nice. So the next participant. Uh, now I request uh, Anupama, ma'am, to have your. Good morning, everyone. Uh, so I'm Anupama, uh, assistant professor from uh, computational intelligence and assistant director from international relations. Uh, so uh, for me, uh, this uh, I've already attended the FTP of uh, UHV refresher course and UHV 1 in the previous when I was uh, faculty development program online. And uh, uh, there are certain things which really uh, added. So my feedback will be in terms of case studies, what I re really implemented and takeaways. See, most of the time, uh, the first thing what I uh, understood, like uh, we, whatever we have seen here, immediately we won't see the difference at all. You know, something should uh, happen and then you'll relate and then you'll try to implement. It's a process. So that is what I realized because UHV refresher course, uh, not much difference. UHV 1, yeah, there was a difference. So one thing was like, uh, it was coincidentally, uh, it was my uh, 10th, 11th uh, marriage anniversary. So, uh, <laughs> We, th that time, sir. <laughs> so that time I was just talking to her, my husband and I was asking him, uh, um, you know, when we discuss what has happened all these uh, years and all, then something happened and I just immediately told him, sorry, some, some, some fight happened and I said, sorry. He was so happy. I don't know, he was like, so very happy he was. I was like, did I do something? <laughs> like, he's so happy. Then he immediately asked me why. I asked him why. Then he said, in this 10 years, this is the first time you have told me sorry. I was like, okay. <laughs> not that I did not do any mistake. See, again, no? Uh, on a very generic note, it looks uh, very funny. But when you just deeply, when we started discussing, right? So my intention was not to say, so, it's nothing like I shouldn't say sorry or something. And his intention is also not to uh, make me feel bad that I didn't tell sorry. The problem is, see, that point of time, he always, f I asked him, like, why did you say sorry? Why didn't you wait for me to tell? So his intent is, he want to end the fight. No matter whosoever is mistake, we'll discuss later. But let's end the fight and let's have a peaceful. So I used to say sorry first. You know, that is where I started thinking, OK, uh, now our intent is, see, that's where I was telling yesterday. That's why I had a little bit clarity on trust and intent. Both our intents are same. But sometimes, because of uh, some reasonable or some issues, our competence is now, my competence to sorry was really very less. Similarly, I noticed the same thing when I started living with my mom. See, we, we have always seen our mothers love cooking and specifically uh, packing food. No, My mom has been doing this like all my life. And now she started living with me for uh, some reason. I mean, I lost my father recently and she started uh, living with me. So my intention is to make her, keep her happy, right? So I don't want her to work. So I really wanted to take rest. And I used to uh, cook and all, and uh, every day fight in my house, something or the other. I'm like, I'm, I'm trying so much to uh, keep her happy. I'm only doing everything. Why she is not happy like that, you know, that type of thing. Then when we realized her 
happiness is in cooking only she really wants to cook and pack the food for the children which i took it from her you know see my intention is to make her feel comfortable take rest but her happiness is in cooking for the with the tasty that is second sir okay i'm not getting into that at all see mother's cooking we can never uh, uh, you know compare we don't even compare ourselves forget about others we ourselves don't compete with our parents no her interest is she doesn't mind getting up and cooking so that is where I, it is very important for us to understand the empathy the third situation is a professional life what i should um, be very grateful to dean sir because this uh, counseling cell when it was uh, he uh, he recognized that i was right I, i was i could do this job and he gave me this responsibility you know when you started counseling the students and that empathy worked for me very well that is where exactly for me this uhp played a very very uh, huge role where uh, when a student is coming to tell us when as a faculty when you listen to him when he doesn't score when he comes and tells you reasons you'll always have a precondition he didn't study and you start scolding and you tell scold do this this copy whatever the reason we immediately we precondition and say this fellow is like this only always he is doing like this because so many people have told but in the counseling the complete perception changed because when a student is coming to you to explain the problem you can't have a precondition you can't you can't judge him you know that is what uh, that time whatever this we followed in this rule really played a very important role and trust me this is not going to happen in one day two day three day four day over the period of time you need to realize that this is where you are going and the best people to take uh, feedback is like how our assignment said your children your spouse your colleagues they can give you the best best feedback where you can really incorporate and start uh, practicing so let us together self explore and uh, do best for ourselves our family as well as for the university at the first level automatically our graduates will go out and do it for the society that's my uh, sincere request so i will continue to do that i whichever student or with our whichever colleagues usually talk to me or we, we do Uh, we always try to bring this into our uh, uh, college system university system and make this possible at least at our university level at the first step so that's my commitment to the uh thank you a very good evening to all of you um actually um I had already done the FDP UHP one in January 2023. So when Supraja came and told me that there is going to be one face to face, so I told her I've already done it. So is it required or is it different? So she told me, "You please come and attend. It is face to face. You will definitely find the difference." And I'm so glad that I came. I attended, and thank you, Supraja, for that. So. it was almost like uh, when i did my uhv one online it was there was a lot of discussions we had a lot of clearing of doubts and slowly it maybe due to the way we were busy it just died off but now i could actually it all has come back to me and it is hitting me that uh, it has to be taken up on a very very micro level now this face to face thing has uh, from day one the key takeaway that i think to me was uh, the needs and wants i did count my dresses when i went home and i did count how many gadgets or the electric things we have and uh, it was disappointing that's <laughs> sufficient <laughs> the other way <laughs> i have i have it on my notes but one more or less <laughs> yeah in from the usp point of view yes it was disappointing looking at the numbers but uh, um that really hit me that what is the need and what is want and what we keep telling our kids that please ask what is required when you say that no this is not required for you please don't ask now please we'll do it later but when it comes to us it just happens it's like it is a priority and uh, it's like we are very easy we 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 very easily give advices to our advice to others but uh, to practice it's a little difficult but um this was a very big thing for me that happened in this uhp and the second thing that we did was yesterday's exercise of uh, you know wanting to be happy wanting to make others happy this was always uh, this was also a reinventing kind of self 
When I had the discussion yesterday back home with my husband, uh, my mom, and my sister, they asked me, what questions are you asking? <laughs> Is there even a doubt that uh, we want to make you happy or others happy or you want to make us happy? But when I told them the example of, you know, when somebody breaks the glass, you very quickly, you know, you blame the other person, but, you, but when you do it, you just dismiss it of, oh, just happened, I'm so sorry, I didn't see that. And then, and that's a habit that all of us have. Uh, you know, we don't uh, maybe recognize it, but all of us, uh, somewhere it's hidden that to blame, it's very easy to blame others, but rather than, you know, blaming ourselves. So, uh, yesterday we were discussing it till one o'clock night, sir. <laughs> this one point. Uh, Daddy was uh, asleep, so only three of us were discussing. So, this was again, uh, you know, a big thank you to the UHV team. And uh, uh, one last thing that, uh, about commitment to USV, I think uh, my biggest commitment would be to first emulate all these things in me. Because I, as a person, I feel the biggest value that we can add to students is giving a smile to each, each of them. Smile not only to students, but to colleagues. I think that's a very important connection that all of us must do it amongst each other. We talk of values and I think this one will definitely be the springboard of every other value when we start connecting, looking each other in eyes, and uh, you know, then slowly we'll make connections and relationships become better. So that is my one thing, and uh, I definitely would like to be part of this movement or a revolution that has happened in uh, maybe education system. So it's like you know, it reminds me of the shlok that uh, yada yada hi dharmasya <laughs> glane bhavati bharata abhyutthanam adharmasya tadatmanam shrujamyam. So it's like, you know, adharm has increased and uh, somewhere we are finding a, a point that this might be wrong. So let us all together, you know, make it right. And uh, big thank you to the management, Dean CAT, and all the deans and directors. You know, it's an unusual crowd, which we don't <laughs> generally have. Thank you very much for giving this informal setup of a very formal uh, topic. Thank you very much, all of you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, all of you. This is... Uh, okay. uh, I think uh, uh, Dr. Durai Sami, uh, Dean of Science and Humanities, uh, SRM Kottangalathur. First of all, I'm happy. Okay, fine. <laughs> this is a second uh, kind of this program which I have attended. I worked in Madras Christian College for 30 years from 1990 to 2020. Uh, when Madras Christian College decided to uh, move from value education to something better than that, they wanted to introduce uh, a personality development course for all the secondary UG. For that, uh, the higher official selected four uh, uh, faculty members to send for uh, 10 days intensive uh, training to an institute called AIM Insights uh, in Mangalore. So I had attended that uh, 10 days, 12 hours per day, including Saturday, Sunday. Morning 8 o'clock we'll get in that, in night 8 o'clock we'll be sent out. Such a wonderful program and that changed my life uh, completely. Uh, after that I didn't get a chance. But I have uh, uh, even without me realizing that, I uh, followed certain things which I have got it from that, including in my family and uh, in the uh, teaching and everything. Uh, kind of, uh, you know, leadership or effective communication uh, and then accepting others. So, so many things which happen. Uh, I really uh, looking forward to these kind of programs so that we can at least take a stock of what we are and how, what we are supposed to be like that. And uh, then in the reality, in the practical life, uh, I had an opportunity, uh, fortunate to be uh, living with uh, myself and uh, three ladies in the family. Uh, one is 22 years, my daughter, 53, my wife, 82, my uh, mother. My son is uh, happily uh, saying outside India. Uh, you see that the role of uh, my mother, she is uh, mamiyar, mother-in-law, and uh, mother for me, grandmother uh, for my daughter. 
மை வைஃப் டேக் த்ரீ ரோல்ஸ் வைஃப் அம்மா மருமகள் அண்ட் மை டாட்டர் இஸ் டாட்டர் அண்ட் கிராண்ட் டாட்டர் மை செல்ஃப் ஹஸ்பண்ட் சன் அண்ட் அ ஃபாதர் ஸோ ஃபோர் மெம்பர்ஸ் பட் லெவன் கேரக்டர்ஸ் and uh, it's really uh, difficult uh, i can say but uh, with the uh, knowledge and the training and the you know uh, the one uh, uh, take away from that earlier course is that anything you do just give a 5 seconds pause they said that if you want to react it just stay 1 2 3 4 5 just 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 wait and then react i do not know whether uh, uh, without even realizing me i practiced uh, we are human being we will react immediately anything happen chichu mark matingla so just uh, we but but just consciously when we do something we will give you a pass and that will make the situation little easier ease th- that the situation uh, such a way i i gain lot of experience in my family and i'm continuously gaining that and we make our family a happier uh, situation and the same thing i applied here even uh, when i was uh, hod and the dean of humanities in mcc and here also we come i i, I had a completely different environment to earlier institution this institution but i quickly adapted because of uh, kind of yeah this work definitely i'll say that one uh, i uh, understand this you know when we move with our own uh, team members uh, the natural acceptance is very very important and then uh, you know uh, just establish the relationship relationship is very important for that definitely i have to uh, you know go to that feelings of uh, trust i have to trust whatever uh, you know the Uh, lakshmi ma'am clearly explained the situation what we are facing but uh, again and again uh, we we try and we give them the uh, long rope and we uh, wanted to create a better atmosphere so that i think the as a unit i think we can grow better that's uh, the thing and then uh, the kind of you know the physical uh, facilities what you have uh, brought this concept is uh, hitting my you know consciousness saying that you know Uh, if at all if you give that importance for that please uh, have a pass into that one that is very uh, good and then um, like uh, today you had given that uh, um, bio and uh, the physical uh, animal and uh, human uh, uh, you know the products are uh, those those things are also very very clearly distinct into that one i am really very, very happy that this uh, Uh, though i am not clearly spelt out but i am very uh, sure that i i i got something better and i will definitely try to implement into that one and overall i think in srm we can implement all these things consciously and i am also uh, looking to join for that uh 3 if i am allowed to join into that uh, thank you very much this is my take away into thank you argument maybe thank you a few am uh, venkat shastri director career center srm university uh, a big thanks to this room from last 3 days where i learned that uh, a line like srm also can be tamed inside a room for 3 days you know the teachers the big brains of srm can live here for 3 days uh, Uh, continuously morning to evening without phone so that itself is a led by our leader our dean ent the biggest uh, it's a blessing in this line. case for somebody i believe <laughs> probably but uh, taming a line they did it so big thanks to uhv uh, for this uh, the big takeaways uh, from this session if i have to speak uh, there are some reinforcements that what i thought as a part of whatever i am practicing or whatever i i know in my life whatever i have gone through in my life i could see endorsement from them is a theory here and few of them are uh, really i need to look at i'll be open and i'll tell you a few incidences uh, instances where i feel i got reinforcements the biggest reinforcement i got is many most of you many of you may be knowing that this is my second stint in srm my life was entirely in orissa uh first seven years i worked with my friend then somehow i got introduced to the founder of uh, kit engineering college when it was just an engineering college i he, he had a business relationship with him for two years then i joined him as an employee there i continued till 11 2011 i left him came here joined here 2013 i worked three years i worked and then i went back there 2017 i left him 
I joined for, uh, I was an advisor for LPU from 2013 onwards, left even uh, LPU in 2017, worked for, uh, as an outside consultant for uh, Chitkara University till 2019, 19 onwards, did nothing, look, taking care of myself with my business. In 20, COVID comes and it necessitates to go out. My wife and son felt bored, me sitting at home. They said, you know, now it is time for you to go and work sometime and come back. You are not too old. So that was the time again I was looking for. I was working with somebody in uh, Orissa. Then I got this offer and I came here. In 2013, when I went back, there was a heated discussion uh, with the founder. He asked one question to me, what do you think of KIT and SRM? We are deemed universities in this country, and you don't feel a pinch of it also. You are throwing the job there, coming here. You are throwing the job here and going there. What do you think of yourself? This was a question he asked me. It was a very heated discussion. He said, I don't bother for three Ps in my life, and I don't chase them. One is paisa, power, and position. Had I chased them, I would not have worked with my friend. I wouldn't have worked, started working with you also. That's what I said. Maybe it will address the needs. If you put it in your theory, maybe I was looking for my needs only, I'm not looking for my wants. But wants are automatically taken care of somewhere. When I'm not chasing them, they are chasing me. I was getting it automatically, I really don't know. When I, till now in my life, when I wanted, whatever I wanted to do, I had that. I don't know if it is blessing, or it is coming till now, even today. Uh, one best example I can tell, that in 2006, when my mother expired in the mid of the night, Evening, 6 o'clock, I had nothing in my pocket. <laughs> Bank balance is zero, 2006. And 12 o'clock, I get a call. At exactly uh, 9.30, founder calls me and gives me a cash of 50,000 rupees. That is a cash incentive, in incentive you were supposed to give me. He gives it to me. I get a call at midnight, 12 o'clock, that my mother is no more. Suddenly, she expired. Had the call come and I don't have the money that time, I couldn't have moved in the next train. 12.30, there is a train. I moved in the next train to the place, our place. So that actually, uh, there itself, it showed me that don't look for it, it'll come to you. I really don't know. That worked. That's a reinforcement. Probably look for my needs. And uh, for uh, rest of the things, maybe I need to be more deserving, I think. A recent experience, I tell you, when I went for receiving my doctorate at the Chitkara University, my wife and son were there. In some way or the other, I couldn't make them believe that I am larger than the life size. Maybe I'm more than six feet. That's what I wanted. They, I couldn't show them. Rest of the society around them always takes. In Orissa, I'm well known because that was a big, one of the first deemed university, and I was the placement director, and we were rolling out so many things. I was in different roles. I worked as a deputy registrar there, dean student welfare there. There is no role I have left in the university. I'm at the university level, disciplined county member. Every day we used to handle so many cases and all. From police station to chief minister's office, everybody. Most of the bureaucrats' children study there. Everybody knows that if you go to him, he will be able to work. Yeah, I'll tell you. This takeaway is very. Uh, uh, this is the second takeaway which I'm talking to. This, uh, when they find, whenever they go there, somewhere they meet them, somebody they used to tell your husband is big, your father is big. This all happens, but they say okay. Recent incident is that when we went to Chitkara University to receive this degree. Chitkara founder gifted an uh, iPad to my wife. She thought she must have given a shawl or something, some memento. But when she opened it, this is an iPad, you know, Apple, the value they create, the false value they create in you. <laughs> so she was very, very happy seeing that you, you are so deserving that they have given this to me. So I needed to work on the other side of it, the family relations. That's what I mean, the, the, the trust and the uh, f familiarity that I need to go to them, saying that, yes, I created some values in the other side of it, the same values I need to drive in them, both of them. My son also is high browser up. So uh, probably I need to work on that, the other portion of it, where I, I need to create that value within them, saying that, yes, I reached out more to the outside, or I have not reached to that level there. You can believe that, yes, I am able to do something to somebody. Well, I need to give more time and things like that. The other point which I wanted to tell is, 
uh, even in uh, the, the takeaways from SRM itself as an organization, uh, the journey of SRM and when you go through it, there are few uh, instances where we felt, I felt very, very big about things as one, our vice, uh, the, during this recent convocation when uh, Dr. Sachinan addressed us, he was talking about our pro-vice, uh, pro-chancellor academ academics, when he addressed us, he talked about what is the life of a student after graduating from here. He said, world is your classroom. Anybody whom you, you meet there is your teachers, and the examination happens first, and the results are declared later. No. In, in, in your classroom, we are training you, then we are putting an examination to you. Each and every interaction you do is an examination, and you are evaluated after that. These are the three things that he spoke, which is really, really the first convocation speech I heard in my life, which is up to one point true by in, to imbibe these values into the students. The third one, which I want to tell the same uh, Sajnansa's speech uh, during Teacher's Day, he asked one question. In this country, we train students for uh, placements, employability skills and employability factors. Does Harvard train its students on empl for employability? That is the question he asked. We have no answers. We are going on a very, very wrong track in understanding what we should give to a student, whether it is placement skills or something like that. So uh, uh, these are few things which we can understand and implement as teachers. Really, do I train students for employability, or are we really training students for real-time real values of you know, understanding, learning as such, learning the importance of learning, and how f how best you can learn from whatever. Thank you so much. I look forward to spread these messages. Thank you. So we can take three to four minutes and then be very pinpointed in making out the key takeaways and your commitment. Yeah. Very good evening on all present here. I am Professor Lakshmanan from Mechanical Department and uh, NSS University coordinator. So my take, take away from this workshop is uh, difference between intention and competence making others happy. The problem with my family itself. So always my wife used to say, I'm pouring a lot of love and affection on you, but you are not showing return. I was wondering, I want to make her happy, that was my intention. But I was trying myself, but I couldn't satisfy her. So I thought of joining a PG course in psychology also. <laughs> <laughs> then finally, after the attendance workshop, I understood that I lack in the competency, but intention is good to make her happy. So I have to develop my competence in that area. That is the main take from here. And uh, second value addition is, Sitting in the three days, as LSG sir was saying, in the in a single hall of, for eight hours, it's a difficult task actually. So far in my lifetime, I never practiced it. As uh, Thirumalur has said in uh, Padmasana poster with this poster, our body appears to be a triangle form, so which is ready to accept the cosmic energy. So it is a retreat for my conditioning the body. My soul got energized. That's a value addition. This was shop. And uh, so being an NSS coordinator, we have similar. Uh, course has been reframed actually. So environmental, social responsibility, and awareness rallies, right to human rights, self-development program. These are the units we cover in NSS course. I'll try to include UHP part, some part in this also now. And after attending this workshop, I came to know that along with UHP, I can do some program to schools. In NSS, we have seven adopted villages are there. So I'll take this UHP to school children also. I learn now that there are some courses are there for school children. And uh, openability for the students, that also I understood now. So we'll, along with UHP, we'll try to work with that for offering openability students for the cover college students. And some certificate courses also I'll try to plan. And similarly, the garden area was very wonderful that uh, some students will be having some garden happy will be there. I'll start with some hostel students in one particular hostel and I'll try that also. So that they'll, they'll do that as a hobby, hobby and use that vegetables for our hostel. So that example was very good, excellent, and I'll try to implement in the university also. And lastly, one case study when I was in the previous colleges, uh, I solved a case just by family issue which was in the court for two years for a technical assistant. He came for a, applying for a leave. Just by sitting and talking with him in for two hours, the two, year, two years case was solved. So he is happy with his wife now. So I, what I want to convey is just sitting and talking with the person living at ego, all our problems can be solved among the relationships. Let it be in a family or with your colleague or with your students, anything else, whatever it may be. 
just leave your ego. You be the first person to start the conversation. Sit and talk with them for one or two hours. This is an example I can show you proof. So now he is happy with his family now. Even though he was going for court case for two years, counselors and court and justice cannot do anything else. But just an empathy point of view, sitting and talking with them is all the cases actually. So lastly, I want to suggest spend time with yourself. Most of the faculty they said their desire is to take care of the family, take care of the children, take care of the husband. But ultimately, when you turn back, you would have lost your life. Your happiness will be lost. So per day, at least spend one hour time with yourself and take care of your health. When you are healthy only, you can take care of the family members. With this, I'll close my thing. Thank you very much for the UHV and the organizer. Everyone, and thank you so much for the workshop and giving me opportunity. My name is Suman, and I just joined a month ago in SRM. Um, I've been in a journey like all of you, uh, exploring uh, myself, the other. We were doing things, but at the end of the day, there's always a reflection why I'm here, like what I've been done, what I've been doing. That contentment didn't come. There was a satisfaction, okay, the work you did well, but um, in the process, somehow I've been led by the universe, I would say, here. And then soon I joined, I received an email, that was the first email in my official ID from the UHV. <laughs> it circulated to everyone, and I thought, what is this? And I quickly explored the full form of it. And I said, OK, this is a universal value, what it is. Let's explore. So Saturday, I spent the one hour first thing on this. And from there, the journey for me has started for the UHV. Um, for, and that's how I got, and I got interested. And this, I ensured that I joined this. No matter what, I convinced my dean that I have to do this. Uh, and I'm very thankful to him that he has given me an opportunity to be here, to surprise the ma'am also. Um, yes, so three takeaway is a lot of things, that there are a lot of preconditioning that we have. We assumed a lot. For example, the day one exercise I did, the second day exercise, the first part, like discussing the four thing, I didn't do it. I know it is a precondition, but I thought once I'll do it, the whole night will go in quarrel. <laughs> so I skipped that, and I thought I should be prepared first to do that. I, I didn't, I assumed, and maybe I'm correct, or maybe evaluating or whatever, so one thing. So there is a lot of things that I am sure that one needs to work on. Only knowing doesn't help the first takeaway, even if you are aware of the word, trust, preconditioning, right understanding, a lot of processing needs to be done. That is the one thing for me. The second takeaway is, uh, it's a process, it's not one time. So continuously we have to work on that. Uh, and creating this kind of meeting in the community is definitely going to help and we are going to lose faith on the process. That's a three takeaway. I have been um, told to be a part of the university health uh, wellness program, in a, like I'm trying to pitch in, where uh, my plan is to take this as also there somewhere to introduce like how it can be in all holistic things and where this UHV and university wellness doesn't go in right hand, right hand and left hand, but it can be in one holistic things because it's ultimately about the well-being well only. So that's the thing. I hope I cover three points in short. Very good evening to all. Myself, Viragodaman Sugumaran. I'm the Dean College of Physiotherapy. I think I will stick into the time, not more than a minute. I'll come direct to the point. So I honestly believe that the values which we have discussed are all existing. Generally, teaching something new is more interesting. But making someone to follow the taught thing is more challenging. So whatever we have known, whatever we have discussed here so far, everybody knows. So transformation of that known things into the practicality is a real challenge. So whatever we have discussed in all the three days, it shows the light to me especially. I'm not just taking it as a takeaway, I'm taking very deeply in to make everything happen in the real life. 
conclusively in a nutshell i would say that a teacher i believe that my mom is a teacher i am from the teachers family a teachers from the past handling the student at the present preparing them to handle the future so this uhv if you ask me to quote one point which is more important that is the needs and wants theory if anyone clearly understand the needs and wants everything will be solved that is my understanding thank you very much thank all of you <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you i <laughs> say i am coming 10th man so in cricket all of you are watching cricket <laughs> the icc match is going on so like i am like bumra i am uh, very good in bowling but very poor in batting so now you have asked me to come in the last so i am a poor batsman i won't take but even the first ball is bowled i will get bowled so i will be leaving this place very quickly before you expect just before that <laughs> i i say what i have written here and then leave this place so thank you sir for giving me this opportunity so this three day uhv program is an eye opener for all of us and uh, the one is that we realize the importance of right understanding and right feeling and the need for physical facility and also to balance the the feel, right feelings like a relationship trust respect affection guidance reverence glory gratitude love so i just one second thank our speaker sir for showing all these words to to us here even though we know but these three days gave us an opportunity and uh, how this is going to be relevant uh, or how i am going to use this so i just want to make my colleagues in my department 100% competent so i will practice this in my department through department meetings and uh, such that all my faculty in the department are able to take this to the students level so with this i thank you all of you for giving me this opportunity sir then one uh, last thing i would say somebody was saying 5 seconds now uh, i would say number in terms of number uh, i remember our dean ct sir once told this uh, close your face and count one to 10 even you are angry so this is what i remember i remember that one sir still i practice sometimes but not all times so thank you thank you all <laughs> i'll take uh, the department level uh, faculty levels make them uh, competent 100% and uh, make, make this continue to the student level sir thank you sir good evening all maybe i am the last speaker no lakshmi mehwas okay uh the first question your brief introduction i am dr prasanna i head the csc department from srm vadapalli campus uh second one three key proposal yeah okay first takeaways from the uh, three days of session from yesterday session especially was sir very well elaborated the key uh, distinction between the trust and intention and dependability and the journal reflection was given to us as assignment so when I, when i went home to do the journal reflection i cleanly understood the difference between trust and intention i first thought that uh, the people who has the moral compass towards us say for example we trust them based on their character it can be only your family members so i first had that intention in mind during the full day of course yesterday but then when i did the journal reflection i actually understood it's not the same thing and when it come when it came to dependability uh, there was something like we depend on someone based on their competence level say for example our own colleagues so we depend on them because in the past they have kept up the commitment but when they break the commitment the confidence level decreases so this was the understanding till yesterday evening but i went home and i wrote the journal reflection something came to my mind say for example we all came here for this uh, uhv we didn't attend the puja in our college that is at vadapalli campus i really missed it but then yesterday afternoon i got an invite from all the school of computing members over here 
and they invited us to their uh, department for the department puja. So that's the understanding that we have between colleagues, and the colleague has turned as friends when I mean, they are already friends, but then it, uh, it shows the true intention towards us. It doesn't mean that uh, dependability only should be there between the colleagues. The trust that they have is actually the trust of intention. So thank you for that, and I, I clearly understood the differences. And the next takeaway, what I should say is, uh, there was one slide which was on uh, mistakes in relationship. Uh, there, sir has mentioned uh, something called as jealousness. So there was a case discussion between two sisters. Uh, the sister was jealous about the younger brother. But then I correlated with uh, my own experience. I have an elder brother. He's uh, not jealous about me, but then he's too possessive, not on me, but on my parents. So there's a small difference between uh, jealousy and possessiveness. So I just thought, what, wh what was the difference? Jealousy is something you, what you have, and uh, I don't have. So I become jealous about you. Possessiveness is uh, something that I have, I don't want you to take it. So this small, uh, I mean, I tried explaining this difference to my brother. I tried calling him when I was driving back home. I was trying to explain him. He said, I'm with a patient, he's a doctor. He cut the call, don't disturb me like this. He never tried even to understand it. I actually tried explaining to him what is natural acceptance, but then I couldn't succeed yesterday. But definitely I'll try to succeed it uh, today or tomorrow. I'll make him understand what is natural acceptance, because he's 47 years old now, but still Still, at least once in a year, he keeps telling me that uh, just because of you, you know, I lost all the love that uh, mother used to show when I was a small baby. Okay, so this thing I have to make it clear with him. And uh, coming to the specific commitments for the college, for the university, actually I think uh, we have to commit ourselves in three dimensions. The first dimension is to build the mental well-being of our students. So one thing what we can do is, uh, we should start an e-counseling cell, which is already there but not so very active because we ourselves don't know what to uh, teach the kids. But after undergoing such a UHV program, I'm sure that we will have enough knowledge to transfer the, uh, the knowledge that the student requires to handle themselves emotionally well. The second thing is we have to teach them life skills. As Sir yesterday told, like even uh, the small thing, something like uh, giving healthy food. So if the canteen sells healthy food, definitely the students, at least 1% of the students, they'll go to the canteen and have such a healthy food. So such kind of uh, things we have to think and we have to suggest to the canteen people and to our management. So this is the second takeaway, building the students uh, with the life skills that they need. And then getting connected with them emotionally. Not emotionally in sense, the, like a mentor. And the third takeaway to the community is, we do a lot of outreach programs. Because as teachers, we involve our students, uh, go to different schools, or the school students come to us to learn the new latest technologies like AI, machine learning, what, whatever the jargons are. But then I feel both UHV can be taken to the school students and also something like we have to reach out to schools which are underprivileged. When I say underprivileged government schools and any normal schools. So these kinds of activities if we do, we inculcate the social responsibility in the students and that's I think one of the major key takeaway or the commitment what I can give from the CSE department. Thank you. My name is Rupa Chandra from Biotech Department, working as Associate Professor. And uh, I'm very delighted to be here uh, as a part of the counseling cell member in the department. Uh, we have already implemented the counseling cell and we have started to implement, as, as uh, uh, Anupama ma'am uh, told us, we have uh, attended the certified uh, counseling classes and we are started to implement the values. Uh, but the delivering the values in a right way to understand what is the values like 
the delivering way to the students was really understood in these sessions. And I'm really thankful to the UHP team, especially Supraja ma'am, uh, where she uh, actually told me about this offline. Though I have uh, interest to attend the online, but I wanted to attend the online, uh, offline programs of UHV. And I was repeatedly asking ma'am, and uh, she told me, like, this is coming up. And I was really interested, and I came here. And I want to mention the three takeaways. So the first one, the day one session, I was very impressed about the uh, natural acceptance. So that was really very helpful with our fellow colleagues and our working environment, which is also extended to my family. So accept. So however, the opposite one, try to accept and take away in your life in your own family. Start from your family and then proceed with your working environment and then make it as a takeaway to the students. And uh, yesterday's session, day two, I had a very uh, important key takeaway of self and body. So uh, your body is in harmony with the self, where your self is going to be in uh, harmony with the uh, physical facility. So how much limited requirement you need for a physical facility is more important and that limitation we had really understood yesterday so uh, in terms of uh, clothing and shelter so uh, i really actually i uh, discussed with my spouse yesterday to count the number of clothes and he was like really it's not possible let us do it in puja holidays because one night it's not possible we have three days so every day we'll start We'll have a break and then we'll continue. <laughs> so, <laughs> for me, he said, for, for counting my clothes, <laughs> yes. His number is very less, sir. He said, for me, I for him, he can count one night. For me, he said, no. Today, yesterday night is not possible. Let's start from Monday. At least we'll have two days. So I hope this is for all of the spouses here. So that was very nice interaction I had yesterday. And this four, uh, eight questions make others happy and make me happy. So I also had the same conversation with my husband. He was like, you had always tried to make others happy. But uh, he was thinking. So he was telling me like, uh, it has always me also in that others, but there is no specific ha making happy only to me. So when is that you are going to come away with that? So uh, he, he just made me to realize that he was in that uh, circle of others. So we have to give importance for every single person in our family, our spouse, and then separately our son, our daughter, our mother, or our uh, grand, uh, uh, I mean, our cousins or relatives so i think we should have some importance of giving that love or affection in throughout our family in our relatives so that was a very good uh, key, take, key, key takeaway i had yesterday and uh, today uh, the last session uh, key takeaway uh, was very good with the harmony in the nature so uh, many of us uh, would not have talked about the nature, but today that nature concept was very good. So as Sir pointed out, planting trees. So uh, uh, I would take this key takeaway of planting trees to my students, and we would try to implement this part. Uh, having uh, uh, we, we have actually planned a wellness program for our research scholars in our department next week. So we would also try to implement a wellness program for our BTEC and MTech students and we would also have the planting of trees. So uh, I thought I would implement this idea in our department. I will propose to my HOD sir. So these are all the three key, uh, key takeaways from my side and I would again once again like to thank the UHP team and uh, sir I would like to mention uh, you had extreme patience uh, to talk to us and uh, uh, we would like to give an applause for your uh, extreme uh, patience standing here and you had really answered again and again we had asked you questions and uh, you had really uh, given us a very right way of answering so we had this was also a uh, key takeaway from us like when the students ask again and again questions we should not get irritated so uh, we should also try to answer them in the way that you had answered, sir. That was also one key takeaway from all of us. So thank you so much, sir, and thank you, entire team. Wellness program for all the students. And also, we uh, I would like to uh, take upon the outreach program of uh, planting trees, tree plantation, uh, with the students and uh, with the scholars.
Yes. Thank Good evening all. Uh, I am Dr. Vashni Kartik, HRE Department of Biomedical Engineering from College of Engineering and Technology. Um, it was very nice. Uh, it was a nice program where we could meet so many people here. But then, uh, uh, Actually, a warm, uh, a warming session would have uh, introduced all of us. I think by the end today only, I got introduced to the person who's sitting near me. So, uh, <laughs> and uh, I think we should have had a, a warm-up session. Uh, that's a suggestion from my end. Um, starting to talk about this MDP, I was really very excited uh, when this uh, offer had come about joining it. I don't know why I was so excited, uh, but then at the end of the session. I learned that this was a starting and it's not MDP. I have to go through a lot of sessions. So then, uh, again, my excitement doesn't go down, but then uh, it's good. I have learned there are quite a few takeaways. This uh, MDP was more of a reinforcement for uh, me uh, because I, uh, I strongly believe in a work-life balance. And uh, I am very strong believer that happiness is an inside thing. Okay, you cannot search for happiness in another person. So with that, this has reinforced it. Okay, that point has got reinforced. And then coming back to the another takeaway, the physical facility. Because I know that, I have heard it, I have understood it. But then the counting of clothes. I think uh, people have guts to do it. I do not have that because I, I again believe, sorry about that, that it will not grow if I count. <laughs> so I do not count clothes uh, that I know, uh, but then I, sh I got the takeaway that I should not be, uh, uh, it's not good for the environment as well, I should not be just accumulating clothes. So that's a takeaway, so thank you for that. And the main learning for me out of this MDP is the difference between intent and the competence. I think um, uh, Anupama, you uh, really made it very clear. I appreciate that because till then the slide was not clear to me. I, she made it very clear with an example uh, and I now really, that was a very big learning for me. Others by reinforcement that uh, uh, when you do it, you see the intent in it and when the others do, you see that they're not competent doing it. And, and I think that is the one which is going to make a lot of difference after this for me. So whenever I have to react to a, a situation, maybe I'll take it that way. I'll see what is the intent, okay? And maybe I'll wait. There are so many things, count five, close the face and count 10 so I think I could uh, implement a few of these and see how it works but then the difference between intent and competence was really great I really that is a very big takeaway for me and uh, about whatever is on the slide if I have to cover about the what I would do further is that we have a counseling cell and that's a very big initiative uh, in each department we have a counseling cell so but the counseling cell members are not it's not a mandate that we have made them do this UHV course, but I think that is very essential that the counseling cell members are uh, qualified uh, at UHV at various uh, levels. So I think uh, we would make that possible. So that is one action that uh, action plan. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, but if I can get, give critical feedbacks, am I allowed to do that? Yes. Uh, so uh, what I found a little missing with these sessions is that it could have been more interactive. In the sense, it was very interactive, but then uh, uh, it, uh, the, it could have been engaging a lot of practice sessions. I, I think on the six days, uh, UHV, you have some practice sessions or some activity. I think that would have made it a little more better. Uh, and I think when the content is taken to the students, uh, uh, the generation expects more of some activity or the content as it is, uh, I think there should be a little small change uh, so that it gets absorbed in a, uh, in a way better manner with the students. So that's a, a small suggestion from my end. And one more thing, on the uh, other end, doing it at a higher education uh, stage, yes, it's welcome. We have to do it because we are at the far end that we have missed it for years. But uh, at schools, if possible, if I can make a suggestion, uh, at schools this has to be implemented because as many of uh, our colleagues said that we had moral science classes. Yes, I had moral, moral science classes at school 
and uh, i would re i i faintly remember my parents teaching me the values maybe i've seen them and then learnt it but uh, uh, i have learnt the values in moral science classes i have seen teachers tell me stories and then still i remember stories taught which had taught the morals uh, so even the stories i do remember so in that way schools are the best place where you can sow the seed we can do it at a higher education stage but at least starting from third standard to eighth standard the the uhv will have a better uh, better absorption because they are like sponge so once they get absorbed uh, when that is at the school level they are already absorbed so when they come out to a college level they more than absorption they will be questioning of taking in values so i think the school would would to sow the seed the school would be the right spot this would be to enhance it but the uh, seed has to be sown at the school level this is my suggestion humble suggestion thank you thank you for the opportunity and for the time taken thank you good evening <coughs> first of all i thank the uhv coordinator supraja and other members who are involved in conducting this three days program also i thank uh, the uhp experts from other parts of the tamil nadu actually i don't know what uh, i have learned from this three days program but uh, we were talking about ego we were talking about understanding but uh, we have not spoken much about listening when somebody comes to us for listening we should whatever the work we have, we have however we are busy we go to spend some time in listening to what they wanted to convey to us that is very much required when we listen to them automatically the understanding will come the respect will come dignity will come so automatically we will make the other person happy and we ourselves also will be happy that is what is my experience whatever we see we go to listen because uh, we are in that we dominate each other that is a natural phenomena whenever somebody wanted to tell something we may not allow them we try to impose something and we try to convey what we want to convey to them so this attitude i think uh, we got to change and this is one of the good take away or my experience whatever you feel i wanted to convey to everybody this important factor which we call it as listening even in one of the uh, ford meeting that hr madam she is managing 3000 people she even said how you manage all the 3000 employees she has answered that i am listening to them whatever i am busy if they come to my room i will listen to them then automatically they will cool down and uh, we will be able to convey each other what we want to convey and the problem will get solved so this i this is also my learning <coughs> and the second point uh, many of us were talking about uh, our children we they don't uh, learn and they don't listen and all but uh, how we are when we look into it then we may not tell that point according to me because the reason being how we were before 20 years and how we are now if you look at it definitely our attitude our sentiments everything might have changed now we don't have mobile phone before 20 25 years but now parents both of them are working and we use the mobile phone continuously for many hours we even don't think of spending some time with our children to talk to them so instead of blaming the children uh we ourselves also have to change so that it will lead to harmony and these are the two things i wanted to tell you and uh, the harvard university says 65% other skills are required and 35% only technical skills required for a supervisor so that productivity will go smoothly so in that case uh how we will make uh, everybody happy is also a difficult challenging question but we try to do it uh, only thing we can think of exploring how to do it 100% it is really very challenging uh, we cannot do it anywhere but we try to do it at least by 99.9% we will make others to happy thank you so much thank you for the opportunity given morning to all 
I thank UHP and the organizers for giving me the opportunity. So to be very frank, there was a call that we have to attend. So I thought, uh, let us be Pandi Kumundumari. I thought maybe let me make my entry so that there'll be crowd to sit along. I'll be the backbencher and complete the program and go <laughs> rather than in the second team with a very small crowd. So this was the intention with I just enroll. And then I thought, uh, we have the values imbibed all, already through family teachings or through grandparents and all, all others were telling. We do have a Sunday schools and those things we do have every week, uh, assertive, whatever it is. So as many said, so those values are there. But I found certain points to be reinforced through this program. So maybe a quick takeaways, spend uh, time, make time and effort to harmonize a relationship. Maybe when uh, we were growing up in a family, as uh, people pointed out, there were no gadgets. The entire family time was all together. Even if mending a fence, we don't hire a people, mending anything at home, changing something, we were all doing it as a family, there was a family time. Now, we family time meaning go home, see to that, you sit, spend some time with your kids, see to that they complete their homeworks, then you finish your cooking, eat, to have some time together and disperse. So I think uh, through this process, we were like running another school, like I don't think we have uh, shared any other values beyond that. Working together and sharing things together. As uh, working mothers, we know that uh, when my mother was not a, she wasn't a homemaker, so we used to work so much in the kitchen and all other activity, but when, when it's coming, we think that, we are going and we don't even ask a small job from them to do and I think we are made the other way. So small, small things which mean we work together, only the values are shared, it cannot be taught. So it should be imbibed. So I thought that time and effort we should make to um, have a harmonized relationship. The next one is unconditional trust. Uh, with intent, with, we'll have a mutual development. So whether in a professional ambience or in relation uh, at family or in our society, for mutual development, there shouldn't be unconditional trust. And uh, the other point which he covered, and it's all continuity. So time and effort and then the trust, everything is all continuous points. And the final one is uh, question, listen before questioning. So whenever a child comes and telling, even when you talk with your students or a colleague, uh, they come and talk before even they complete the sentence preconditioned we just start questioning them so I think that will lead to trust issues so in order to it's all related so listen so that the trust is built for that you need to spend time and effort so ultimately have some time patient listening will lead to a mutual development that is what is a takeaway which I have and again, as other ma'am said, if I could just suggest points, uh, rather than uh, we've been together in the last row and then we were discussing every other points. And then we had a lot of internal discussions sharing. And as she said, it would have been better we had an introduction again, we all four sat together and we had some uh, time together. And uh, if whatever you've been, when sir was concluding, he was telling that you have a program for jail, and other things. Uh, we want the good seed to be sown on a so good soil. So our children heart are the good soil, say the soil should be good to be receptive. So we conduct the two HVs, but the soil, the heart and the soul is not pure enough or good enough to receive it. So we should find out where the weeds are grown, how the weeds are entering into their so heart or mind, whatever it is you call, I'm not very good in defining terms. So we should cut those things to those people if we conduct this, rather than targeting after the soil has become bad and trying to inculcate a good seed, why not try, maybe as of now we have the media, correct? So why don't you conduct such programs to directors yeah, join us, join us, we can conduct, you join us, yes. Yes, <laughs> so to those people, since our team, whoever it is, first the input should cut. The soil will be good. Then when we sow, without weed it can grow. 
So rather than we trying to make a seed grow now and making them, if we cut all the inputs, we will just talk to them, see to that the promotions what they make, the intention with what they come out with the movie, the dialogues, that over a period, you said it cannot happen over, a, yes, it's a long process. Along this long process, why don't we take the other path, the input end, why don't we cut the source? Because as other sir, when he said, when we are born, all are pure. Because of the environment and the inputs, we are what we are and your, we have to reinstate. Your specific commitment, your commitment? <laughs> as I said, I was thinking that UHV program, especially our uh, third semester kids, the, we are introduced to them. And I don't think they are very happy with it for three credit course. They are not accepting it. Honest input. Just taking it for the sake of course, making assignments, doing, lamenting overnight, completing something by the way sit and write the assignments and doing, we are spoiling their whatever values they had also by scolding the teachers and other things they're making overnight. See, right, I'm just telling. And another one, the induction training program, what we had for our students, a single day, eight hour value, value courses, when the students just stepped into the college, we had it. I think that was not the certain thing. So maybe I can join along with UHP team and find out how interesting it can be made. It is required. Since already the kids have come, we need to inculcate some values. So maybe we have to find out an alternate way of imparting, not like an hourly basis, one-to-one -one syllabus, cover, assignment, some activity base where really it is inculcated, not for a credit-based learning like. So maybe I'll just check it out how best possible because this is the feedback I get from my students. With hatred, they complete the course. I don't think where the value is basically. Right? Thank you. Very good evening to all. And uh, I should say I am the Boomra, not LRGS actually. Uh, anyway, uh, I am uh, Professor Gopal, uh, Dean College of Engineering and Technology, basically from the School of Mechanical Engineering. Um, straight away, I'll just come to the point. Uh, three takeaways, uh, maybe uh, two are already discussed, but still uh, I don't want to change my takeaways. Uh, sitting for eight hours in the floor, uh, that's uh, really, uh, I mean, uh, for me it's a very crucial uh, takeaway, I would say. Uh, most of us wouldn't have sat for eight hours, uh, maybe in different postures, as you said, uh, for three days. So definitely it's going to be a healthy practice and only thing uh, we need to sustain that, continue that in our house also. And the second thing, again, it was uh, already told by uh, Dr. Rupa Chandra, uh, Kumar Samba, yourself, uh, handling of the queries continuously for three days and uh, nowhere you have shown your face. Any harsh uh, questions or any contradictions or uh, any cross-talkings, you, you have been telling some point and we were discussing among ourselves. Uh, in fact, fighting among ourselves. So uh, that actually, every teacher should uh, take a clue or uh, out of this because when we teach, some two students are cross-talking, we get annoyed. We lose our thought process. We lose our ideas. So that's a really uh, good thing. And uh, I was amazed at your skills, actually. Uh, whatever queries they asked, you were able to convince it with uh, proper uh, conviction and uh, anecdotes. Uh, short uh, stories were really good. The third one is uh, relationship uh, point. Um, uh, this is with regard to two sides. One is for the professional side and another is for the family side, the personal side. Uh, on the professional side, uh, maybe LR just said uh, that uh, I gave a tip that one to ten, you close your eyes and then count and uh, you will forget all your uh, ang anger or temper. But probably I, I advised him, but I didn't practice it. <laughs> uh, it's very easy to advise also. Uh, I'll just give uh, maybe one or two examples. Uh, Supraja and Infanta, uh, maybe two, three days back she came to my cabin and then they were talking about, I mean, in fact, I called them uh, for some discrepancies in the budget proposal and the amount what they spent. Uh, I was trying to convince that uh, what you should have proposed because it was over budgeted two, three times. And I was convincing them that you shouldn't have done this. 
uh, whereas you have spent only this much, why did you do this? As you said, you have taken all the resources which are actually due for somebody else uh, over, over uh, uh, what you call, uh, accumulation. Uh, I could have spent that money on some other uh, uh, department or events or something, but they kept on defending. So it got heated up and I started shouting. Uh, this is one incident and another one uh, sometime back again only Supraja was there I was shouting at some other person see I am a, a person of uh, following strictly the systems and processes if somewhere down the line if that is uh, being questioned or being violated I get angry so uh, my intention was uh, maybe good but uh, the relationship actually got spoiled. Uh, getting spoiled, I would say, not got spoiled. So uh, I was shouting at some student or some faculty, I don't know. Uh, then she said, sir, you must definitely attend UHV too. <laughs> you, uh, I will, uh, even if you don't have time, I will uh, request the vice chancellor or anybody else uh, to provide you the time and you must attend. And after attending, I really, uh, felt that uh, I should change my style, though it is inbuilt in me, but the relationship is very crucial. This is on the professional side. Similarly, on the personal side also, I am a very sweet uh, person for all the relatives, all the persons uh, in and around me. Uh, professionally, of course, that's only, once I go out of the college, things are different between the same person whom I shouted. But on the personal side, uh, um, the, the same incident, uh, but for different people, I apply different rules, probably. Uh, for example, um, when my daughter or my granddaughter asked me to uh, take a drive or take them and drop them somewhere, even after I had a hectic time here, uh, going late to my uh, house by 8 o'clock or 8.30, uh, but still I will go and drop without showing my face, without grudging, nothing. Okay, come, I'll take you. I'm okay. I might be hungry, I might be tired, nothing. But the same thing if my wife has, <laughs> I will definitely shout at her. Don't you know that I'm traveling for 50 kilometers, and I mean in one direction, traveling with so much of uh, strain and uh, stress, and now you are asking me to do, say for a temple or something, it might be my wedding day also, probably. I'm not sure. Uh, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, I used to shout at her, but yesterday, uh, I mean day for yesterday, I think uh, there was a traffic jam here. Uh, it was close to one hour jam here, and uh, when I went home, it was almost uh, eight o'clock. And there was one uh, invitation uh, by one of my relatives for the Navaratri festival. Uh, it's in Adayar. My house is in uh, Parambur, which is further north, actually. So even then, though I was very tired, but because of this UHV, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't talk anything. I just smilingly accepted her uh, request and uh, took her. And we returned by maybe 10, 30, 11 o'clock. And uh, after that, I did my assignment, <laughs> the day one assignment. So definitely, there is a transformation. Uh, but only thing, I need to keep this in mind and keep practicing that. Uh, yeah, it should be a continuous one, yeah. Otherwise, I'm a loving husband. Uh, don't think that uh, I'm not, uh, uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. But that particular thing, like w once my body is tired, I cannot do anything. So when she asks something, I'll be there. Okay, with regard to the commitments, uh, as a um, institute, I wanted to, I have a big list actually. She said 10 commitments you expect. Uh, anyway, I'll just, I discussed with some of the uh, participants here, maybe not all, a few only, uh, during the lunch hour. Uh, first one is uh, electricity saving. Uh, I don't know how many of you know this. Per month it is close to 1.25 crores, the electricity bill uh, for our campus, uh, both the campus put together. So uh, this, uh, I didn't uh, touch upon the hostel side. Hostel electricity might be a different one. So uh, we are taking steps to reduce the electricity like uh, solar power, uh, this thing, uh, uh, other, other sorts of uh, unconventional energy, but still a lot to be done because uh, uh, even today, Professor Linus was uh, telling that uh, in the restrooms here, in the daytime, uh, 10 uh, lights are uh, on, always on, which is close to 100 watts, 250 watts. 
So we could have used some, un yeah, in one toilet, one toilet. And we are a technical university. So we could have used some sensors to switch off and on. So likewise, we have so many other places which are just going waste. So we can do that. Sustainability, yeah. Some of the other sustainable things also uh, I have listed. The second most important thing, I think most of the uh, female uh, faculty members, lady fa faculty members, uh, have been uh, uh, commenting on that, uh, sensitizing on the sanitation hygiene. So uh, that, though we have taken some steps uh, with regard to that, but still a lot to be done. There are, uh, uh, what do you call, uh, um, incinerators and uh, vending machines, uh, but still uh, that's not sufficient. And not only that, the user has to be sensitized, educated. So education will play a great role. And probably the UHV cell and others who have participated here should also uh, start uh, sensitizing and educating the kids. Uh, the third one is a food wastage. Uh, we have been uh, doing that in the hostel, and uh, Professor Linus was the hostel director previously. He knows how much of uh, waste is being, uh, I mean, food is being wasted. And we have some methods to recycle and all those things. Gas, uh, gas, we are, uh, I mean, uh, uh, coming out with biogas and other things. But still, uh, I don't know, I'm not sure whether it is still there. Uh, in some of the colleges, we see that uh, uh, some slogans or some uh, quotes uh, with regard to the wastage of food and other things, the one which you showed, uh, uh, some statistics on food production and food wastage, pilferage and all, something like that. I don't know whether a hostel has that or the mess has that. Yeah, but still, uh, this needs to be sensitized. Uh, but there are few students who do that, uh, save some food and give it to even dogs, pets, and other uh, things within the campus, but still we need to send. Then the department counseling centers, uh, somebody, I mean, I think Anupama pointed out, she is actually leading that. Uh, it has to be strengthened, though it is there. Uh, we have close to 100 uh, counselors, uh, not the academic counselors, they are all professionally trained counselors. I mean, they are getting trained actually. And uh, uh, they are getting trained in uh, other counseling, not only the academic counseling. Uh, the all parts like uh, relationship issues, drug addiction, smoking, family uh, uh, issues and everything. So they are all getting trained, but this needs to be strengthened. For our strength, I think 100 teachers are not sufficient. Then um, there is a concept called a charity house in most of the foreign universities, they have that. Uh, we would like to, I mean, uh, this uh, probably um, 15 years old thought actually for me, but since I am in uh, implementation uh, position, probably I can take it up. Uh, the students who leave the college, they just donate their uh, things instead of just throwing it out. It can be a mattress, it can be a pillow, it can be a books, uh, it can be anything that they have used, fan, uh, mixie or whatever it is. Uh, the, the students can tell that whether they want this to be auctioned or whether it has to be given free of cost to the juniors or at a discounted rate. There are certain people or students who just give it free and ask them to give it free to the others, juniors. Some they say 50% I want the money back and you sell it for the same. There should not be any profit uh, margin or something. So something like charity house, uh, I think this will recycle and reuse and all those things. So that can happen actually. We mentioned in our commercial voucher that we used to do, like if you feel this mic is not used This needs to be circulated to the students by, by the people who have participated here. And safety practices, as you said, the campus is really crowded, uh, really uh, traffic management needs to be done. We all know pretty well, we have taken a lot of steps on that, but still enforcement is uh, not up to expectations. So uh, definitely we'll take uh, enough steps to uh, try to implement all the safety practices, though there are helmet rules, uh, go left, uh, walk only on the pedestrian uh, place or so many other things, but it's very difficult to control. Uh, of course, reusable products like no plastics, we, we talk about smart campus, green campus. Greenery is there, but plastics, no plastics, we are not able to implement. And I must uh, register here, record here that Vice Chancellor has started this from his office. So when you go to any meetings with the Vice Chancellor, 
it will be only the water jug, the glass jug and the water bottle, no plastics there. And he has advised all of us to use, I mean, uh, follow this procedure in their own respective uh, offices. Um, I, I am going to introduce that. Probably I request all the uh, heads of the department also to start using, uh, I mean, whatever, wherever you have plastics you can remove, especially the water bottles. Uh, then electric vehicles, again, uh, we have the electric vehicles here, maybe it's very limited. Uh, I think recently we bought around five or so, five to six, but for our uh, thing it's very less. Uh, but uh, there is also one more uh, thing, the vehicles can be uh, stopped outside. That was one of the uh, things everybody says uh, to make the campus green. But there are vehicles used by the hostlers which can be very easily prevented. Hostlers need not use a uh, vehicle, all bulky vehicles, expensive vehicles and all. Then organic vegetables, uh, we have an agricultural farm. Uh, they sell coconuts and other things, but uh, we can also maybe, uh, if uh, everything works well, uh, I don't know how much of production they do here and what's the consumption here in the hostel. At least uh, the organic vegetables can be used in our hostels. Uh, for uh, the regular food preparation and other things. And uh, there was a suggestion by some of them that we can have a millet food store or food store as well as a mess. But uh, immediately Professor uh, Linus Martin said that we tried when he was the director of campus life in the hostel, managing the hostel and mess. They tried it seems, but the response was too, too poor. Maybe awareness, yeah, awareness and education will bring them in. Okay. Uh, then uh, outreach, as I think Dr. Rupa Chandra and others pointed out, UHV student club is there, so they will take care of the, must take care in fact, uh, we commit on that, outreach by students and faculty through UHV student uh, club. So these are some of the takeaways. Thank you so much. Um, first of all, I can see everyone uh, time, but this is the first may I am not sure whether I will gonna get this opportunity again to discuss with all the deans, directors, HODs and higher officials, senior officials who is going to come in one place where I can address few things. So before uh, getting into actual out of thanks, I should have supposed to propose. But before getting into this proposed uh, uh, vote of thanks, few things I like to share. Uh, the very first thing is my takeaways. My takeaway is just not in this particular workshop. Past uh, last uh, July, when I finished this UHV, immediately I enrolled for UHV two and three, back to back, back to back. June, July, August. The key takeaway is actually for a whole eight months, eight to one year almost. But if I started telling all one year story, it is like it doesn't enough for a whole night. But I'll just keep it like ten minimum. Okay. So very first uh, key takeaway of mine is. When I, when these people uh, introduced me, calling Baya Didi, I was like, it's just a word. I don't have an, I don't even have a particular feeling of this word. But similarly, I honestly thought inside me, the words which I speak is totally different than, rather than my feeling which I have inside. I may go in front of you as a dean, director, as HOD, I say good morning. But inside, on the tongue. See, such a thing is happening within me, frankly speaking. What the words I use outside is not aligned with my own feelings. The same thing happened with this UHV. My words are not aligned. It's just started in that way. Again, the development is first word. When we are talking about the development, first takeaway of this is development. When we say development, we always think, physical facility development. I have more car, more house, more, 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 more. Even after having more, 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 I don't know what is my development is. I was a child born and brought up in a really a very good settled family. Okay, So development, I was keep hunting. I have more in my life, yes, 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 but still I feel missing something. So that development word, when they started introducing in this, now I understand the development is not the GDP growth. And the development, the true development is self-development. The evolving of my own self. What does my self is longing for? The development through my physical facility on GDP growth has totally, that 
thought process has been changed, the development in my own self, what I'm doing here, that one takeaway, I started realizing something I'm started doing it not just for my body, body has to be taken care, but something more. Uh, this I can relate with my, uh, sorry, I was a little bit shaking, so I, I thought I can put my legs up because I was really trembling, so I just do that. Um, this I can relate with my physical facility and the feelings with my husband because it's a love marriage, but then whenever I, we have a anniversary or wedding, anything, the expectation of my side is a lot of feelings. But he tried to compensate with a lot of physical facility. He take me to the fancy restaurants. He buy me the, all the costly stuffs. He is feeling is like I'm doing much to my wife. After receiving these things, I feel lost because my expectation is something more. I am not able to connect it. What I really want, what I really want. But that time I don't know the difference between the self and the body concept. He's trying to fulfill all my body needs like food, cloth, shelter, and apple, blah, blah, blah stuff. But I lost the connection of the feelings. So they are able to connect with the self and the body. Something filling with the physical facility is not going to um, work on myself, which I, there I got this difference between the facilities and the feeling, how to connect with. This is my second takeaway. And third takeaway, I don't know how many of us has closely traveled with me because um, very few has known me. I was a very arrogant lady, to be very frank. One first thing when I come to SRM and been with the people, I felt I know better. This attitude I really had. I know I am better. I know everything. This was there in me. After that, UHV, I started questioning, do I really know? I felt complete bank. 33 years of my learning got zero, to be very frank. I was having a lot of misunderstanding in my own life and my own development. I really had a lot of misunderstanding. Before that, the attitude of I know everything. There are two things, two phases of mine. One is over-evaluation of myself in the college. In the institution, I show like I know everything. I know everything. I am the best. You give me anything, I can do it. That attitude I had. That is over-evaluation part of myself when I come to the public. When I go to private my home, I was a person who under evaluated myself. I depressed every night I used to cry. I don't know the reason. I don't know the reason when I cry. I feel lost. Two, two pampering papa, the person who can give me anything which I asked for is my husband. Still I feel lost. Every night I used to cry for one night. I didn't know the reason. Slowly, slowly after which I figured out something. But these are the two different faces I used to show. One is over evaluating myself in front of all my because I said, I feel like I show like I am the best in the class. That was me. And the inner, inside, in my private time, I mean, when I was alone, I was a person who depressed a lot. And I used to cry only when I was alone. So these are my two things. Uh, one thing I got to know, even here in all your sharings, which I felt is everybody is start telling, I know everything. We know everything, we had our values, we had those days values, we had a family values, but other person has to change, other person has to change, other person. This mindset I had, I really had. Appa has to change, husband has to change, he has to change, my parents has to change, my HOD has to change, my dean should not talk like this. This attitude I had. Now I understood the intention. I also lack in competence. Similarly, the other person also lack in competence. When I point out others, I should see first, I, I don't know whether I can change others, but this is in my control. Let me take a call first. Let me work on myself is where I started connecting this intention and the competence part. One small example sharing I can give. Usually when my mama, my mom, I always call, show all my anger to my mama because I cannot scold my father. All my anger is for my father, but I'll show it to one to my mother. So whenever she comes and keep something in front of me, like any I used to tell her. But now, after you I got to know, two and a half hours she is cooking in a kitchen. Is it, it her intention is to pour it down? Nothing like that. More than that, I 
it is like their intentions are really pure but some way they are missing it out edo one paakaliyo illa theriyama valikidicho i don't know till date i never seen the intention of the people i just see the last part call action the lot inside accumulation is not just with the physical facilities dress o car o the accumulation is lot with the deep uh, information we received till dated i also had those information amma na elapo aya na elapo ivanga na periyal those kind of accumulations i added just not with the physical facility but also in terms of this i also really had that kind of accumulation one back another but now only i could able to understand the accumulations which i had is just with the information which i gathered yara ro sona information i didn't even explore myself is it true or false that awareness these people have started giving me after having this eight uh, eight months to one year of journey with us and um, uh, awareness started within me every i don't know how many of really know but now i started uh, asking sorry a lot i started accepting my mistakes a lot sometime i ready to fall in the feet because the expression part is different the what is a real when i proposed this mdp many people told one comment oh dean's directive okara ekka poriya promise that, that is not my uh, thing the real purpose is i have understood few things just in the srm kulla enakku oru vishayam purinjadunala when i can make small difference within my colleagues within my students if i take it to these people who is can do wonders avangalala kondu pona the srm will become a model and the oru reason kaga da i just made this this is purely for the purpose not for the position or xyz judgments are there that is not for that that i can put it over here and uh, in this position in this place i just see i didn't see you all as a deans directors hods i felt the another human being who is just longing to uh, put an effort to understand what you are what is your existent at present where you are and where you want to be idha dhaan na ungalku solla try panna that is why uh, i have a lot out of thanks ipo na trek va mattum dhaan eludhirken out of thanks kitta moonu page ku eludhirken okay so adanal i don't want to tell i started from vc to and anna per varaikum vaangirken kitta kitta 100 people background la work pannirukanga the 100 plus people who have worked for this mdp is in the background my own team student team colleagues and anna dean john sir website la irund ellarume background i have written so many names but since it's a time constraint i want to say but one thing for the resource persons i know there is the no tanking part la they don't usually like it but one should i one thing i need to say these people are really really busy there sir bhaiya is taking eight hours class head of the institution of his own college after this md eight hour session he go back and sit for the next two three hours i have seen him sitting there taking all the calls putting all the signs and scanning it sending it back lot of effort they are putting for your happiness my happiness our happiness this is they have come without taking any sim one rupee that's men as they told when few volunteers are stepping forward to do something great we all talk about we should do they should do they should do we should do. but when comes to action very few are stepping in and when we say media should cut other things technology we are the person who promoting the technologies also inside the department and other things so we can start from ourselves if it's not helping other at least from within ourselves we can start and slowly we can take it towards so this is what i want to say so without even taking any amount they are doing it for the service basis so that's moment i will just take to uh, share my sincere gratitude to both of you by thank you so much i'm uh, in fact uh uh supraja was telling me you know you will be the last and then i mean is there, you are coming in excuse me you are coming in no okay uh okay, i mean no uh, points which i wanted to say is like couple of weeks back uh, i had a discussion with uh, one of my friends working in other college uh, then the question from the other friend was that uh let me with your permission let me put it in tamil so that it will have a correct impact they enna da evuna patti ipdi solranga ivudu this of this thing started idu enna romba mosamaanu nu solli irupanga adha vida mosam onnu solli irukka maatanga illa abdinu no no that's all fine very short term bird abdin solranga illa abdinu 
I said, being a short tempered person, is it a crime? Uh, then I asked the other person, uh, am I a short tempered person all the time? Then short came the reply, illa le, pyaad ko onda kathir vare abdinte. Agreed. See, I, I mean, in the, in the places where I worked, you know, I was known with all humility, I can say that. I'm a, a pro student teacher, I'm a pro staff uh, uh, principal, whatsoever it is. Then somebody was asking when I was about to take up the assignment at uh, SRM VDP as a dean, people were advising me. Gone are the days wherein you were too humane and then down to earth. At least here and after in your life, you better learn something good. Try to be a dean. I said, what do you want me to do? Don't talk to people very friendly. Don't uh, let people come close to you. Otherwise, you will not be respected. Then I said, uh, see, the respect is not which the one which I demand or... Uh, Expect it should come from within, or I should earn it. See, there are two ways of getting things done. One is being uh, authoritative, other one being accommodative. Um, maybe being accommodative, we might be at a loss at some times as an administrator. Fine, uh, but that doesn't mean that. I mean, honestly, when I left Sairam after about 100 affairs of service, out of 300 people who wanted to see me in my cabin, at least about 200 people shed tears honestly. And even today, uh, I would say that if I don't wish them on their birthday, they will wait till up to 6 o'clock in the evening. And 6, 5 or 6, and I will get a message, Sir, you have not wished me today. The not wishing them may not, is not intentional, but maybe preoccupied with the other works, fine. So I don't know whether I will be changing, uh, able to change myself uh, being a uh, no, short term bird. One takeaway I, other from this, I can say that I need to be cool myself. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, we say quite a many times that you know. I was uh, telling somebody that uh, I mean, I think to Doresa may believe. Uh, let us not react. Let us respond. But I need to practice it more, though I do that at times. And uh, the another takeaway, what I can say is the. Nine attributes what uh, the UHB has touched, uh, touched about, you know, trust, uh, affection, um, care, love, gratitude, whatsoever it is. Though we do that, maybe sometimes we miserably fail in uh, executing it. Uh, trust, break, mistrust, trust again. But ultimately, uh, let us uh, hope that, you know, let me at least, uh, hope that the other person honestly trusts me even if it is mistrust. It is, I, I cannot change people, though the intention of UHB is to try to make them happy, uh, make them uh, have a feel, a right understanding about the self and the other. So maybe it takes time, uh, but it is not, uh, I, I can't say that it is not impossible, it is possible, but it takes time. And another point is, um, I mean, uh, Dr. Kopal was talking about that. I am too good to other people except family members. I mean, that happens in every other house, uh, though not in every house. I mean, it, that applies to both uh, gender. Um, no, there have been, I, I mean, when something happens between uh, my wife and uh, my daughter, I cannot talk to either. So I need to be a silent spectator sometimes. Aprama vande seri utre. Puduva Chulirano, in the Pakambata Chuna, you have daughter the Tua, daughter Chuna, you have the Reality. And the, the situation has come to a stage wherein my daughters always say, Wanna keep papa, one bonda di the Mukio. Ama, and I came bonda di the Mukio. And in the way, I came along with Tirtum, I'm a Tirtur than Gerilla, change from Mudima, I have my own doubts. Because having traveled all these years. But probably, if everyone is made to understand the codes on UHV, perhaps things might change. Iliar, Nama, Nagunja, Nama, softness of Kutigrano. Right. So that is another takeaway to be, you know, um, natural acceptance. That's what they are, that's what she is. Fine. Another point is 
um, somebody was talking about, I think it is uh, Professor Shanti, uh, Shanti Prince. School la kundu be nartha the kundu in the pasangal ta andu panninge na abdi na mari oru shanti thana chonna da varshini. I'm sorry, 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 sorry. Somewhere we need to take a initiative, right? Um, whether it is possible, it is. The, I mean, as I said some time back in a, during a discussion yesterday or day four, how we take it up to the students. Tamil okay thana. Ippu na mawangalara mana cuma tu pakai lah. Abdi na, when are we going to change the society? See, gone are those days wherein, as long as my father was alive, I have never sit in front of him. Never sit in front of him. If at all I need to sit after me becoming a teacher or something, something, not with this, maybe a chair or a stool which is a bit lower than this level, till he existed. But my son will talk to me. Ah, chalu bro. Abro. No, 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 no. See, listen. He would start dictating me, but I'll be a silent spectator. Yes, tell me. See, that's a, that's a generation gap. Generation gap, which we need to accept. But the very same son, with all pride, I can say, is about 30 years old now. He will shout at me for some reason. But within another maximum two hours or three hours, wherever he is, he calls me over the phone and say, uh, Acha, I'm, uh, I mean, I could imagine what his posture would be. If he's sitting, uh, I'm sorry. Um, no, just, just skip it. He will not leave it as such. So I have not groomed him. Probably the society has changed him. So it is possible to change the society at any point of time. But I find it very difficult to change my daughter. Maybe because she's a daughter, as uh, Gopal said, we have more soft corner. Mm, yeah, give, give her some water to attend to this uh, UHP program uh, online, uh, I registered online and on the very first day when I was about to log in, there was an official constraint. So there was an option also, you can change, I mean you can cancel it, I did cancel it. And when this has come in, I was very happy and in spite of all the puja we had yesterday in the campus, people are asking me, as a dean, you are not there in the campus. I said, puja can be done any, by anybody. There is no need for a dean to be present over there. There will be a dean in charge. He or she will take care of it. But for this course, somebody cannot replace, it's only me. So that is the priority and thank you so much. And it has probably given me some input to change my lifestyle from now on. Thank you so much.